Good morning. I'm Steve Getzev, president of Nova USA Wood Products and TrailerDecking.com. And I'm here today with Tom Pohl of Vanport Trucking. Tom is an expert in woodworking and has uh, many years of experience installing truck flooring, Apatong hardwood on uh, flatbed trailers. We're going to look today at his technique uh, installing uh, Apatong nail strips on this aluminum floored flatbed that we're standing on. So Tom, thank you very much for uh, allowing me to interview you today. Um, can you give us a little bit of your background? Uh, yeah, I have uh, dad built the first three houses we lived in, so I've always been around construction. I worked construction early in my lifetime. I uh, worked at the airlines as a mechanic and did trailers for them. Uh, repaired trailers in the construction industry and now I'm repairing them in the trucking industry. I've been I've been watching you over the last uh, three days now, um, and uh, taking a lot of video and, and photos of your of your process. I'm very impressed by the by all the techniques. You seem to have all the bugs worked out to make it as, as easy as possible. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you learn something on each job. I think so. Keep an open mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Can you tell me uh, some of the most important? Uh, techniques that you use to install hardwood flooring um, right the first the first thing is make sure you get all the old screws from the old flooring flush with your your stringers uh, so that the apatong and the aluminum product whatever trailer you're working with sucks down to those you don't want to you don't want to use the old holes right well sometimes you have to but that that gets real tricky no you you want to you want to put new holes in there and get a nice tight grip um, so I've noticed that your your holes are generally very close to the vertical section of the uh, of the cross member. R right, um, and that I had to do that. Normally, you'd like them in the middle of the cross member, but I had to do that uh, for strength purposes because the original manufacturer had drilled right in the center, which is the the optimum place to be. Um, but I left a spot at the back. To where if we ever needed to we could put a screw back in there if something happens like a forklift digs in or you're doing a repair so that's kind of why i left that open so you're you're now you're marking the the aluminum floor right in line with the cross member right where you want those holes to be right located. right because you don't want to if you hit one of those old screw heads um it'll it'll you know wobble your drill around and you'll end up tearing the, the uh, wood up and then you don't get that tight countersunk you know, because that's where you're grabbing this screw is sucking down at the countersink, and that's what's pulling the apatung back down through. Right. So. Yeah, because you got to get the wood and the screws, you know, flush with the deck. You don't want any yeah. high spots. No, you want them a little, little, little tiny bit below wood, you know, grade, so that they don't get caught with the forklift. Now I noticed you got you've got three different tools you use when you're installing a, a, the floor. Well, three different drills, I should say. So you've got your, your standard drill with your with your basic drill bit, um, and then you've got a tapered drill, and then you've got your 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 driver, your um, right. screwdriver. Right. So I use the battery powered uh, uh, Milwaukee drill to do the countersinking. I'm just using a generic you know Dewalt drill. Um, and it seems to work out just fine. You that's just need, a, that's an electric. Yeah, yeah, that's, a, that's electric. Yeah, and then exactly. I use the air, uh, a three eighths gun with a socket on there to install the screw and suck the material down to the uh, stringer. Right, and that's got a Torx bit on there. I think yep. it's a T30 for these screws or a T40. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. All right, outstanding. Now then, you've um, you know you you were telling me that the aluminum floor itself you've got to be careful with that because it will actually expand in the heat. Right, right. It it it's uh it's only anchored in a few spots and and the apatone is actually what holds it down so it can you know move around with the the changes in, in weather or the heat or the cold but it, it does it does move a few millimeters. Yeah, amazing, amazing. Um, so I've noticed you've, you've been you put it down pretty tight. You're working on a hot day. I suspect in the winter time the aluminum's going to shrink up a little bit. And yeah, it will. And, and that's why I try to get it so tight. So then you don't have a 
big gaposis and somebody goes, hey, boy, you really took a holiday on that one. <laughs> so you try to get it in there as quick, as, as tight as you can. Yeah, yeah, excellent. Um, now I noticed you're, you finished uh, everything off with, uh, with uh, Apatong Oil, our ExoShield uh, Tongue Oil product. How does that compare with some of the other products you've used? I, I like it a lot. The, co the coverage is, is really, you know, optimum. Um, it seems to hold up a lot better than, uh, you know, some of your traditional stuff that has great advertising, isn't always the best. Yeah, right. You know, and this stuff I think really works. Yeah, sometimes companies will substitute marketing for actual product right, quality. Right, right. And uh, I'm going to end up, some of the decks we've already done probably this summer, I need to, uh, you know, clean them and re, re, re Reply. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's best to do it like once every couple of years or, yeah. or so. Right. But it's an amazing wood. It, it sure lasts a long time. And we were talking about um, about how you install it and which direction you have the crown. So, you know, the tree has you know, your, your concentric rings, the growth rings, but you always want to get the crown a certain way so that the wood doesn't doesn't warp on you. Yeah, or, or cup. So I, I always want that crown, crown up. Obviously, I, I've made a couple of mistakes in there, but that's a really important point. And then the other important point is when you, after you drill your holes out and you do your countersink, blow those out with air so you get everything off that that stringer. Right. And right. Just once again, suck that product down on the. Yeah, on you've got to you got to have clean holes, yeah, otherwise yeah. your screw is going to bind up as right. it's going in. Yep. Yep. Exactly. All right. Well, outstanding work here. Um, Appreciate your time today. Thanks for uh, thanks for letting me interview you and talking to us. You're welcome. All right. Great product. Have a fantastic day. Thank you. Thank you.